What is the common thing between a marble run and industrial vacuum pump? Both profits from an operation surveillance based on continuous NVH testing, a so-called end-of-line test. So what is end-of-line testing now? Well, to explain it, I need a line and then I will test it for you. I need a line. Well, I can set up a production line by using a marble run. First of all, we need a factory. Uh, put out some plates. So every factory now has a production line. I think this guy will help me to explain that. Okay, so here all the marbles will be produced. The finished marbles will get out of the production line and then get here for first check. And now we need a test, an acoustic test if the marble is good. So I'll put different marbles in there. So the good from wood here and some bad ones made of steel. Of course, I can see it, but we want to test it without touching, without looking, just by acoustic behavior, okay, with vibration, microphone signals. Now we need a measurement chamber. So I put a microphone in here. It's a closed chamber, so it's isolated from the background, but all the production noises can be placed in here. Now we have to stimulate the marble, so let it rotate like, like a shaker. So the marbles get out here and then you can hear that noise in here, yeah? And obviously a metal run. There's a little bit more movement in here. You can actually see how it's moving. It's had a little bit more deep sound. I think it's possible to detect it just by the acoustic to say if it's a wood one or a steel one. So we need some measurement equipment. So I place one oscillometer here at the spiral to get all these shaking movements and all this additionally to the microphone in the chamber below. A second oscillometer I will put here when the marble is approaching. So we have a small impact here. We have the rolling noise here on the rail. Just getting information then we can easily divide between a wood or a steel marble. So we have three channels now and they have to be recorded by a front end. A front end would work in the production line. It has to be very robust. It will be placed in there and never touched again. Okay. So for that reason there is the head acoustics acquire. It's a four channel front end and it's light easy. You can snip it in. It's perfect for that. That can be attached now. So let me place it here. The spiral then that goes here on channel one. For example, if your company produce washing machines. From the outside, every washing machine looks good, but maybe there's a screw loose and you can't see that. But if you shake it, really soft tone and then you know, oh, there's something wrong. If you shake it or maybe the belt is not right at the right tension, there's a frequency shift in the spinning circle or the engine is a little bit skewed in there. It's making oh, gung, 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 gung. You have to stimulate it and then you see there is something wrong and get it out. I, I, I will build this here. So we switch it on and via LAN or via USB, we connect all this data now to my laptop. Data is in. Of course, I connected with the Artemis Suite recorder. Here's the acquire, and then have all the data in here. This is a wood marble plug, and here's the spectrum here, and you see the levels. And this will be a steel marble. Bam! And you can see actually it looks different here. Do me the rush down. There's more deep content in there, and in the impact is different, and the timing, everything is different. We have a chance. So let's record all the data. I start my flow control to have an automatic run, and I start my production line. We start with just with wood walls, yeah, wood marbles. So it's triggered automatically on the impact. I think we stop the production now. Now we do the same with the steel balls getting in the production line. And of course we sell the sweet recorder. Now I will call them all steel. Okay, and counting the increment, it's ready. So we start the flow control and we start the production line. So let's analyze this now. I'll go for my navigation, ask for the recent recordings, and there they are. So steel uh, and all the woods. Uh, we can just add in a new pool project. There they are. Select them all. I think FFT will be easy to understand. Then put this all in a data viewer, just all in. Calculate. 
we got result. These are all the steel ones. This is the spiral accelerometer signal. It's just higher all the time, just more. <laughs> if it's a steel ball and the other wood ball, then much more. Let's see on the other channels, we have the approaching accelerometer, which has an impact. Also here we can see the steels have higher values in here than the wood ones. And if you look in the microphone, it is more at low frequency. It's a big difference between the, the steels and the, the wood ones, okay? We can easily divide it now. But I don't want to look every time with the cursor how big is the channel and then decide if it's good or not. So the evaluation should be completely automatic and there is a special program for that. It's called Contest. So we start Contest. Contest has automatically found the choir front end and automatically attached and goes online. This is one major advantage. Just switch it on and it works. And now it's already waiting to measure. So you can create a profile here for the Graphic Tracks Marble Run, set the recorder, and as you see, it looks very similar to Artemis Suite. This was the intention. If you can work with Artemis Suite, you can directly work on Contest as well. So drag drop all the sensors here that you have. You can define which analysis you like to have, and you can define the tolerance check, which is Good and which is steel, but we go even one step further when it comes to error detection and use an artificial intelligence. All these results are given free to the artificial intelligence, so it is so easy for the computer to find any deviation from the wood marble. This way we derive a matrix to determine good from 40 ones, whatever the fault will be. Now you can tell a wood ball is okay, yeah and should be green and the metal ball is not okay and show me a red flag. That simple. I say, okay, that's the story. Calling and we get an okay, it was a wood ball. Next wood, it's green, it's okay. Another wood, record, stops automatically. Steel ball, not okay, here there. <laughs> wood ball again, it's okay, it's a good one. Yeah, that easy, yeah, steel. Not okay, so that, that's working, but that's not enough. I, I still have them all in one hand. I want to separate now with this decision, good and bad. Um, let's see what we got. This rubber run has this switch here, which I can now go left or right. I want that the software will automatically make the switch turn. And that is why Contest has a very impressive versatile software adapter on board. So it can communicate with other devices without any problems, okay? Even with a toy gadget. We get turn two wires out and connect it via USB to Contest. Let's test it. So feed in metal and wood boards just randomly. Start the production, Contest is running. Good one is coming. Record it. It's okay. Up to the lorry. Okay, for the customer. Second one is okay. Goes in there. Now the battle one comes. It's not okay. And the switches go over and goes for the original. Next good one. Again, switch over the left to the customer. All right, that's working now. Also a good one. It stays up to the left. Also a good one, and I don't need to touch it anymore. There's a statistic coming, how many goods we have. It's a bad one, okay? That's why there's a rut and okay. Another one is also bad and goes over. Let's explain it here what we have in here. So all the good ones are collected on the left side and then shipping for the customers, okay? It's a good side, but if something bad comes in there, so a metal ball, could be anything different in a way. Something is wrong. So this acoustically different metal ball goes in a revision loop and then you have to open the washing machine again and check if the engine, the bell, that what's wrong, maybe some screws is not right. There was something different. There was a deviation contest say, please have a look. There might be something wrong. And this is very helpful to so assure your customers always get the good products. So the last recording comes always in the top of this list. So you can directly see if something is wrong. There's a lot of rats coming suddenly. There's something wrong in the production line. Maybe a man shift that doesn't make it right. Something is wrong. Go there. And you have an overall statistic. What was your day? And see, maybe something Monday is worse than Tuesday. <laughs> this is all in that software. Okay, this was a simple example to get to the subject. We carried out a feasibility study with this system even before it was on the market. The first thing we did was to monitor a vacuum pump in our production facility with sensors. These pumps are quite loud and run constantly. That's why they are often in another room, so no one looks after it. Having an acquire permanently monitor the pump, early signs of damage like a rattle, grinding, 
a new pattern. All this can be detected in good time and minor maintenance work can be scheduled. This way you prevent the system from a surprising total failure. Then we tackled the first customer applications and the result was always that that system should remain in the place immediately. So we feed in the time cycle, we feed in classic analysis, level FFT, Jepstrom, or we even feed in psychoacoustic high performance analysis to find a small deviation in the sound patterns. And all this information goes here for the training. Thanks to our decades of experience in the field of sound and vibration analysis, for us it's very easy to select the right sensors and the right analysis criteria to distinguish the reliable between good and the bad. There's no acoustic pre-knowledge needed. Just get in contact with us and we come along and set this for you. So you have the AA power on the fly using contests in this simple acquire system on any step in your production line.